exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Cougars here on MLB The Show 22. <clears throat> that is right. We return to the show. We return to the Cougars. The expansion franchise has had some success so far here in the, the first month of the season. Under 500. But we're still, we're still, we're still working. This is still the A's after all. I've, I've done a, a few trades, but this is still the A's. So we're still going to be losing a lot of games. If you missed last episode, we had a crazy opening day. We walked it off in the ninth inning. It was unbelievable. I was hyped. I couldn't believe it. I, it was just, it was the craziest ending. Ramon, uh, what, what was his name? What's his name? It's Ramon. Oh, I can't even remember his name right now. Loriano, that's what it is. Ramon Loriano. I, he walked us off last episode. I can't even remember the guy's name. I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. Ramon Loriano walked us off in the the bottom of the ninth. It was absolutely insane. But then we simulated a few more weeks and we finished the episode six and eight. So this episode is Jackie Robinson Day, and hopefully Jackie Robinson Day can go a little bit smoother, and we don't have to walk it off. Unlike week or game one so let's get into the episode if you guys are excited smash that like button subscribe to the channel join the juice club let's get into some chicago cougars baseball baby so here we are it is the cougars versus the blue jays on jackie robinson day six and eight on the season here you can see we went on a, we've we've been on a little bit of a losing streak here we finally broke it against tampa in the final game we're going to need to pick it up if we if we want to contend for a playoff spot or a wild card spot. I don't think we're going to be in that position this season, mainly because we're not really that good. Um, this is what the pitching rotation looks like so far. We got Frankie Montes, Sean Manaya, Tristan McKenzie, James Caprillion, and Grayson Rodriguez with Hunter Green coming off the bench. Now, Hunter Green, or coming out of the bullpen, I should say, uh, Hunter Green is probably going to be our future starter, obviously. But he's just such a low overall right now at 68. I could drop him down to the minors to get him some playtime. That might be what I do. Uh, but since he is kind of struggling right now with the 6-9-1 ERA and 0-2 and and star, he, he probably should get some time down in AAA. He'd be the best starter here. He'd be our number one here in AAA. And maybe that would help him out a little bit. I don't really know. Uh, I guess we can find out as we go on throughout the season. If he starts, if he keeps struggling and he's got a couple more losses and it's, it's a little bit of, if it's around the same ERA or maybe a little bit higher, then I, I will take him down another, or take him down to AAA. The lineup, looking pretty good. Spencer Torkelson is hot right now, but he's he's only got one home run and four RBIs, hitting 306. Our other um, prospect, prospect kind of guys, we've got... Um, Shea, who hasn't really done a whole lot, but he hasn't really got a lot of playing time because Sean Murphy's playing catcher. And then uh, Christian Pache or Pache or whatever, however, however you pronounce his name, he hasn't got a lot of play time either because we have Ramon Laureano. And I might put him at DH for a couple games. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. He's got some speed, so he can come off the bench and, and run some stuff for us. He can also play left and right field. So maybe... Uh, we switch him out for Max Schumann. You know what? Let's do that. Let's put Pache in at left field so he can get some good play time. We'll have him bat ninth or eighth. We'll have Pinder bat six. Noose or Noise, however you pronounce his name, uh, batting six. I think that's good. Shea will still come off the bench right now. Piscotti's on the bench. Seth Brown's kind of injured a little bit. This team's not really that great not really amazing we've got some some pieces down here uh double a we've got robert powson we've got gabriel masil 
or Masayo, however you pronounce his name. We got Tyler Soderstrom. So we've got some young guys. Max Muncy's down here as well, who should probably be starting, if we're being honest. Christian Lopez, yeah. Max Muncy should definitely be the starting second baseman. I didn't realize he wasn't the starting second baseman. So we'll make Max Muncy starting second baseman. There we go. All right, so Max Muncy will get some play time down here in double-A. Hopefully we see some good development from those guys throughout the season so we can move them up to triple-A. But it's time to play Jack Robinson Day against the Blue Jays. We are going up to Toronto to the, what's their, the Bell Center? No, that's the, is that Toronto's arena? I don't remember what their, their ballpark is called. I guess we'll find out here when we play it. But we're going up to Canada. Not a massive trip for us since we're in Chicago, but it's still a big flight to a another country. Another country. I say that in quotes, even though it is another country. But we're going up to Canada to play the 7-6 Blue Jays, so they're not, they're not having that great of a season either. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. If you are, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's get it. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's Chicago and the Toronto Blue Jays. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And on the mound in this one, Hunjin Ryu. What should we keep an eye on here? He touched the ninth inning his last time out. Really wanted the complete game. Didn't get it, but he did get the W. They'd love to see him pitch deep into this one. Again. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got quick counts on, so the game goes a little bit faster. Elvis Andrews leading off for the Cougars. He's going to take a first pitch and swell well, not first pitch, but first pitch to me. And it's a out to start the inning. Spencer Torkelson, one of our future Prockers? Pro prospects. I need him to start developing, start hitting pretty well. One two count for the Cougars. That's going to be a base hit. Yes, it is. Base hit for Torkelson. First hit of the game for the Cougars. You love to see that. Now we've got Jed Lowry, who played pretty well on opening day. He's had a decent season so far. That's going to be a first pitch that I'm taking. I'm going to come back and, uh, yeah, that one's caught. Oh, that was 3-2 count. I got to remember that with quick pitch, I got to look at the count and see what we're sitting at. We're sitting at 2-1 with Billy McKinney, who hit a surprising home run on opening day that I was not expecting. Good eye, McKinney. Good eye. He's a first-round pick in the 2013 draft. I didn't realize that. I really have never heard of him. That's going to be a nice rip to right field. And we got two on, two out. Two on, two out. We've got Steven Piscotti, former Cardinal, playing right field for us, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Okay. I was sitting something way faster than that. I was sitting on something way faster like that. Is that getting down? It is getting down, but Torkelson doesn't have the speed to get to home play. That is for sure. We got bases loaded, two out. And it's Sheldon Noyce. Or Noyce, however you pronounce his name. I feel like we should just trade him just because I can't pronounce his name. Is he going to, I was going to say, is he going to get a grandy? But he's not. So we leave three on base. Very frustrating. Bo Bichette, 1-1 one, one count. We've got Grayson Rodriguez for the first time in this series. And that's going to be an out. So Bo Bichette sits down. 
Rymel Toppy. I keep forgetting he's on the Blue Jays. I know him mainly from the Rockies. Oh, and that's a walk. Okay. 2-1 count to Vladdy Jr. And he sends this one to center field. Laureano's able to stop it. Throw it in. Don't pump fake it. Throw it in. Okay, so that didn't work. I pressed it, but it didn't register. And then when I did press it, it pump faked it for some reason. And now we've got George Springer. And he's probably going to smack something home. He's two home runs away from 200, which will be pretty impressive if he gets it. Hopefully he doesn't get it against us. Rodriguez. And that's going to be a base hit in the left field. Is they going to send Vladdy home? They're not going to send Vladdy home. And they're not going to send uh, Springer to second. So this is not going well. We got one out. Goriel Jr. is up. I'm kind of panicking here. We need to get a ground ball. There it is. Great pitch by Grayson Rodriguez. And we only allow one run. You love to see it. You love to see it. Grayson got out of the inning. That's a good job. That's a tough spot to be in for a rookie. In his, not his first start, but one of his biggest starts. And that's going to go for a foul ball. Oh, yeah, we got Shea playing catcher today. He's behind the plate. I didn't even mention that to you. Uh, Murphy was a little bit tired. So we get to see Shade hit right to third base. It's Pache. Okay. Kristen Pache up to the plate. We've got our young guys playing, and that's going to be Chapman getting us out. So... Uh, <laughs> uh, Ramon Laureano he hit a walk off on opening day and he's going to get a ground out to shortstop here so a quick 1-2-3 oh no a bad throw from Bichette an error what are you doing there Bo so we survived the inning a little bit we get an extra batter we're playing with free baseball here that's going to be a ball 2-2 two -two count Come on, Andrews. You got a single. Oh, almost a single. Ooh, he is tempting me. He is really tempting me to swing. These are good placement pitches. And I tempted it. I was swung at that one, but that's going to go to left field, and he's going to grab it. Yep. <sighs> we got lucky with the error, but we couldn't do anything with it. Teoscar Hernandez is up to the plate now. How's Grayson going to do in his second inning? Teoscar's been on the the Blue Jays since 2017. Man. You really lose track of time. It doesn't feel like he's been on the team for that long. 3-2 count. Slider. And got a chase. I mean, he had no business swinging at that. I don't know what Teoscar was doing there. And Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Former uh, Oakland A. Could have been on the team when we moved to Chicago. But he uh, decided to get out of there before... We moved. And he's going to fly this one to, to the outfield. Well, to the foul ball territory. And we're going to throw a slider here. 2-2 two, two count. And, oh! How did he not get called for a swing on that? That's close. That one's gone if it's fair. It's not fair. It hooked really hard right foul. He fouls off another one. We'll go change up here. He doesn't have a lot of confidence in the change ups, so we'll see what happens. Got him swinging. Good job, Grayson. I'm liking how Grayson's been pitching so far. 3 1 count to Reese McGuire. And that's fair if it's. Or it's gone if it's fair. It wasn't fair. We'll go change up here. Try to build some confidence in this change up here. That's going to be a ground out. Jed Lowry gets it and cleans. A clean uh, fielding play right to first base. We get out of the inning. Top three. 1-1 one, one count to Torkelson. Come on, Torque. Oh, man. These pitches are so slow. I'm not ready for it. I'm, I'm always sitting something a little bit quicker than that. If he gives it to me, it's gone. He gave it to me. Is it gone? It's not gone. I didn't get enough on it. That felt good off the bat, though. That really did feel good off the bat, but Torkelson couldn't send it out. Jed Lowry, fly out to left field first at bat. We'll see what he can do here. 
That's going to be into left field for a base hit. All right. You love to see base hits like that. Nice one-out base hit. Now we got a runner on first base with Billy McKinney at the plate. One-two count with the strike. I probably should have swung at that, but I wasn't I wasn't really sitting fastball on that one. And he got me on the slider. That was a dirty slider. <laughs> that was a dirty slider from, from Ryu. Steven Piscotty, 1-1. One, one. And Steven Piscotty just sends a bullet to Bo Bichette, and he's able to corral it. We haven't been able to rally that much in this game. Kevin Biggio for the first time. He's going to foul that first one off. Two young guns going at it. Future of baseball right here. Grayson Rodriguez and Kevin Biggio. And he's already got the shift on him. I didn't realize they had the shift on him. I probably should have paid attention. If that would have been fair, that's, that's at least double. Maybe even a triple, depending on how quickly we could have got over there. But we struck him out, so we don't have to worry about that. Grayson Rodriguez is playing really well. He is pitching pretty, pretty well. I guess I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Whoops. I shouldn't have jinxed Grayson Rodriguez. That's on me. I put that fastball in a horrible location, and Bo Bichette makes me pay. Okay, we regroup. <laughs> we regroup, and we go after the next batter like it never happened. You got to have a short memory as a pitcher. Got to have a short memory. And we get Rymel Toppy out. That is 100% on me. I put the fastball in a bad location. And uh, Bo Bichette certainly took advantage of it. Vladdy Jr. He's going to ground it to Andrus. And we got him out. Good job. So we recover. We recover after the Bo Bichette home run. No doubter, by the way. And we're back to the plate. Come on, boys. We need to get these bats awake. Let's start cracking the bat. Over some baseballs. That's going to be a ground out from Bo Bichette to first base. And another error. What is Bo Bichette doing? That's his second error of the game in the first four innings. I don't know what. He's got a home run and two errors. What is Bo Bichette doing at shortstop? Is he a short? Is he a defensive liability? I have no idea what's going on. I'm here for it. It's getting us free bases. That's going to be a double play. I thought maybe that would find its way into left field, but it doesn't. And we go down. So the error doesn't matter. It matters for Bichette, but it doesn't matter for us. Come on, Christian. I need you to get on base. You're hitting, what's he hitting? 154? Nice pitch, Ryu. Nice pitch. That's going to be in the air. Oh, Springer's going to get it. And it's caught. We're done with the fourth. <laughs> well, top of the fourth. Grayson, if you keep doing the things that you're doing, I might have to take you out after this inning. Oh. Come on, Grayson. Put this change up where I need it to be placed. Good job. He did good there. Let's see if we can get him swinging on this slider. He makes contact foul. I'm going to trust the, the slider. and I'm going to put it in again. It's either a walk or a hit. Secret option three. It's a strikeout. I can't believe Springer just sat and looked at that. Let's see if we can catch him on a fastball. We did not catch him on a fastball. I saw it was a one-two count, but I maybe... I thought a little... Like, the little part of me in the back of my head thought... Maybe we catch him on a fastball there, and we didn't catch him on a fastball there. Teoscar is going to send that one to right field. Piscotti is going to be underneath it, and that's two down. All right, boys. Two down, runner on first. Matt Chapman at the plate. Grayson sends the first pitch, and it is foul. We got a strikeout scenario here. Grayson Rodriguez slider. 
Torkelson, what a play. No, go to... Torkelson with a horrible throw, and it's a base hit. That's going to be up the field. You got to be kidding me. We were out of the inning. I just needed Andrus to run to second. I know I could have played the easy play at first, but I just... General instinct, my thumb just pressed triangle for second. And I guess Elvis Andrus wasn't prepared to go cover second. And it was a bad throw. And that allowed a run to go. But Grayson Rodriguez gets out of the inning with a strikeout. Grayson Rodriguez has been playing really well. He's pitched really well considering the 3-0 score. He's been pitching really solidly in this game. That's going to be into right field. We got a chance for some extra bases. Ramon Laureano has been the hottest bat in the lineup. That's a double. Lead off double to start the inning. Ramon Laureano has been on fire. Thank you, Ump. That was a clear strike that they call that they call a ball. And Andrus oh, if that would have went fair, that's an easy run. 3-2 count. I missed it. 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 I pulled the PCI down a little bit thinking that it was going to drop and it didn't drop and I I got on top of it. I got I got underneath it, I guess, cuz it popped it up in the air. But Torkelson could send you. Oh, that's going. Go, 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 go. We're sending Loriana home no matter what. I'm sending Loriana home. That's a double and a run. The Cougars are on the board. We will not get shut out. Good job, Torkelson. We're starting to rally. Let me see this rally. Jed Lowry? Same thing? I'm sending Torkelson. He's got 42 speed, but he's getting a third. Get there. Get there, Torkelson. Boom. Spencer. Showing off the speed. Flashing a little bit of speed out there. That was a risky play. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. Oh, Vladdy with the great glove. Vladdy Jr. with the great glove. That's unfortunate. But hey. We got a run. We will not get shut out in this game. I'm going to trust Grayson to go five. That's going to be a first pitch ground out to Torkelson. Bo Bichette will not homer back to back on me. I may even let Grayson go six, depending on how this inning goes. I'm going to trust this changeup. I think the changeup might be where it needs to be. He's got the confidence in it. It's going to get to Jed Lowry. And Tapia will go down. Two outs. Cougars are fighting back, man. We're gritty. We are resilient. We're scrappy. And Vladdy Jr.'s got a 1-2 count. Let's see if we can strike out the big power hitter. Grayson with the slider. He doesn't chase. 2-2. Two -two. He's got a lot of confidence in this changeup now. We've built up that confidence. And it got him. We got a throw to first. And we got it. Boom, Grayson. He is pitching so well right now. And now we got top six action here with Steven Piscotti. No, don't swing. Nope. Hitting 400 versus lefties. Steven Piscotti killing the game right now. And that's going to be ground out to Chapman. All right. I want to keep hitting it to Bo Bichette because he's got two errors, two throwing errors. 2-2 two -two count for Sheldon. That's going to be ground out to Chapman. We're not rallying if we can't get base hits, guys. Come on. Shea Langoliers. The prospect catcher, top 50 prospect. And he's going to send that one to center field. Springer's back. Springer's got it. Quick inning. Quick inning for the Cougars, and they go down. I'm going to let Shea go, or not Shea. I'm going to let Grayson go six. Way back there, on its way and out of here. 
I'm not gonna let Shay go si or Grayson go six. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I should just shut up. I should just not talk. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Let's go with Danny Jimenez. Let's throw him in the bullpen, and then uh, Kalerik will warm up too. And I'll get a little bit of a mound visit here going. <laughs> I should just stop talking, man. Let's start. Let's start with Danny. Here comes the manager, Grayson. All things considered, Grayson Rodriguez pitched really well. He just, he's a rookie. He's young, and he put some pitches in some spots that probably shouldn't have been in there. All right, Danny Jimenez, the first time I've ever pitched with you. And he's going to let a first pitch hit to right field. Piscotti will send it to the, I tried to send it to the relief, or the cutoff man, but there we go. Come on, Jimenez, I need you. Strikeout pitch here on Teoscar. Got him! Some 96 heat behind that. One out. Matt Chapman, 2-1 count. Can we get a double play? That would be awesome. Ooh, I'm liking this gas he throws. He throws some heat behind that fastball. And got him! Thank you, Ump, for the call. Got him with it. Danny Jimenez coming in and striking out two batters. And that's going to be foul? Thank God. That's a run if that if that's not foul. And the high changeup gets it. So Danny Jimenez comes in in relief for uh, Grayson Rodriguez, lets the first batter get on base, and then strikes out the next three. Danny Jimenez. I, I have to remember that name. I'm impressed by him so far. He's only a 59 overall, but I'm impressed. No. Oh, I thought that might have been gone. Christian Pache, I thought I thought he sent it yard. But it's just his first double of the year. Oh, they're going to take out Ryu, and they're going to put in Adam Simber. Ramon Laureano, one of the hottest hitters on the team. He's got a sinker slider fastball. Oh, he's a submarine. <sighs> or a sidearm. Actually, he's more submarine. I hate hitting against submarine pitchers. Look at the angle. Like, how am I supposed to judge that? This is so annoying. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Loriano sends that one. That's another run. Ramon Loriano, back to back doubles. This guy is unbelievable right now. We're still in this ball game, boys. We are still in this ball game. Elvis Andrus. He's going to pop that one up. That's the first out of the inning. Do we send Loriano? It's George Springer's arm. I'm not testing it. I probably would have been safe, but I'm not I'm not going to test it. That's too risky. Spencer Torkelson. He got the he was the reason why we have one run on the board, so maybe he can do it again. Look at that angle, man. That slider just comes out so weird. How are you supposed to tell where that's going? That's so hard to hit against. Go. Send him. Oh, I'm sending him home. I'm sending Loriano home. Two RBIs for Spencer. No, he tagged him. What a throw from Tapia. What a throw from Tapia. I tried it. I got too greedy. 64 speed was not enough on that kind of base hit. I got too greedy. Tapia with a great throw. Ooh, I should have brought the PCI down. Jed Lowry hasn't done anything in this game. One for three. There's the PCI down, but that's going to be an out. Springer will get it. We got a run, but we could have had another one. Loriana just wasn't fast enough to get home. It was close, though. I'm going to let Danny Jimenez go another inning. We're going to see how he does. 3-2 count. Let's go with the change up away. He doesn't chase it, and it's a walk. It's okay. We still got the other dude warming up. He's going to steal on Shea. Let's see the arm. 
if it was accurate, it would have been an out, but it was not accurate. So Shea's got to work on that, I guess. He doesn't chase the curve, but will he chase the changeup? He does, and he gets a base hit. That's going to be another run. Loriano will field it, and it's an RBI single. All right, we're going to call Danny Jimenez out of the game. He's had enough. We got the other dude on. Adam Kalerik will come in. First time I've pitched with you, too. You have no fastball. Interesting. Ooh, good pitch. Slider, one-two count. Got him chasing, but we don't have enough speed to get to the second baseman. So we'll just field the first out. Just take what's given to you. Just take what's given to you. All right, we'll go Vladdy on a slider. He's going to hit that right to Jed Lowry, but nobody was playing second. Good job, boys. Now we've got George Springer, who's going to take that one to right field. Steven Piscotti's back there, and he's got it. We get out of the inning, still down by three. Good hit by Bobachet. He's been playing really well. They bring in Yimi Garcia. Billy McKinney's up. I'm glad we're done with that stupid submarine guy. I hate pitch or hitting against submarines. Oh, that one's deep. Did Billy McKinney do it again? Oh, Billy McKinney's got a double. I'm liking Billy McKinney, man. I'm liking him. He's sneaky powerful. Come on, boys. Where's that eighth inning rally? Where is that eighth inning rally? Do it for Grayson. He pitched too well to lose this game. I shouldn't say that. He let three home or two home runs go. <laughs> he pitched really well. We got to do it for him. Oh, that's a base knock. It's going to send. Oh, I kind of wanted that to be fair because that would have uh, moved the runner to third. 2-2 two -two count for Piscotti. Send him to third. He's not going to throw to third. Good. So we advance the runner anyway. I'll take it. Sheldon Noise? 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 Noisy. I don't know. He's not going to be on the team very long. <laughs> we'll probably trade him at the deadline if we can. Try and free up as much money as possible for the offseason. Oh, but that's a run. Boom. We are still in this game, boys. Still in this game. You love to see it. Come on, Shay. This is what we have you up here on the big league roster for. For these kind of situations. Show us your potential. That's not the potential I was looking for, Shay. Kristen Pache. Let's do this. You got a double last at bat. I'm expecting the same situation. Oh. I brought the PCI down a little bit. Come on, Christian. Nope. 3-2 count. Loriano's coming up. He's been hot. He's hitting 378 on the year. Oh, Pache! Do we send him? No, no, no. We don't send him. We don't send anybody. We let Loriano do the work. Runner on second and first. Two outs. And Loriano. Ooh, do we go pitch runner? So, Noyce has 53 speed. Schumann has 86. We're going Max Schumann. All right, so Pache has 86. Schumann's got speed. Loriano, it's up to you. And it's going to be caught by Teoscar. Our best chance to tie this game, and it's a fly out. I'll let, I'll let him play third base, I guess. Unless it comes back to bite us. Andrus. Nice fielding. And got it. Perfect. 
So we get him out. Now we got Teoscar up. Teoscar wouldn't be a bad player to have in our, our team. I think he'd fit pretty well. He's not super old, but he's not young. Oh, and he had a beautiful base hit right up the middle of the field. Return to sender, ladies and gentlemen. Return to sender. Matt Chapman at the plate. One out. 2-2 two, two count. How did he hit that? He's hitting these pitches that he should not hit. He shouldn't be chipping those away. And that's going to be Andrus. Got the double play. They're going to bring in their closer. Jordan Romano. Top of the order. Final three outs. We've got a full count for Andrus. Leadoff hitter. And a leadoff walk. Good way to start. Spencer Torkelson, baby. A double and a single. Two singles. Double and two singles. One, two count. I didn't. I didn't want to swing at that. But if I did, if I didn't, it would have been a strike call anyway. And it would have been a strikeout. So I had to do something. I was just hoping it'd go foul or something. One out. One, one count. Top of the ninth. Jed Lowry sends that one to center field. I'm sending him to third. Go. Get there. Get on your horse. He doesn't even test it. <sighs> Come on. Uh, pinch runner situation? 22 speed. Uh, we'll send Seth Brown. What's he playing? Second base, Jed Lowry. We have Jordan Diaz if we need to, who can play second base. And Chad Pinder, I guess. So we'll put... Seth Brown, and he does have an injury, but we'll put Seth Brown. He's our only fast guy on the bench still. And it's Billy McKinney. Oh, Vladdy Jr. <laughs> Whoa. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. just saved the game for the Blue Jays. I am absolutely stunned. We got to go replay vault. We got to go replay vault. Blue Jays, ninth inning, uh, ground outs. There's no grounds out? Okay, we'll just go Blue Jays. All innings. Okay, so we got to go all innings then. Find it here. Here it is. Oh, no, this is not. This is the one I want. Where is it at? How do I find that final play? I got to see that final play. Blue Jays, Guerrero Jr. Can I not see defensively? I guess. Oh, I got to go to the. Okay, I got to go to us. Who was that? Who hit that? It was Billy McKinney, right? McKinney grounded into a double play. All right, here it is. This pit or this defensive play from Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is unfreaking believable. Look at the cat like reflexes. If I can get underneath the ball, there it is. Look at the cat like reflexes. This is coming off the bat. If this is not caught, this is at least Seth Brown on third. But Vladdy Jr., man, this might even be Seth Brown home. I mean, he's got 71 speed, and if you take a look, Teoscar's just now moving and reacting to the ball. So depending on how how far that ball rolls, Seth Brown could have got home to tie the game. And then he falls on first, which gets the out. And then he throws it home and we get tagged out for the double play. Just the sequence that this happened in. And for Vlad Jr. to do it too. You wouldn't really think of him as the, the best defender on the team, but... And it takes a one hop too. Wow. And he falls right on first. That would hurt. His arm landing first, right on first base. Oh, that would be really rough. That'd tear up some skin. I can't believe that Vladdy Jr. just did that. Unfreaking believable. And then throws the home to tag out the runner. Oh, this is. 
That's not how I thought this game would go. I thought we would, uh, I thought we'd get a nice W here. But Vladdy Jr. is Superman, Vladdy. Look at that. That's crazy. Tagging first and then double play to home. Unreal, man. Absolutely unreal. And now we're 0 for 2 this season in, uh, we're 0 for 2 in Jackie Robinson games because earlier in the week, I uploaded the Brewers franchise and we lost on Jackie Robinson Day too. So I guess I shouldn't just play. I shouldn't play on Jackie Robinson Day, I guess. All right. So we're going to finish out the month of April in this episode. Crazy, <laughs> crazy game. Uh, he's injured in AAA, so we'll give him six months. Seth Brown's no longer injured. Let's finish out this week. So we lose to the Blue Jays. We beat them then. We almost got swept by the Orioles. Caleb Thielbar. Thielbar? Thielbar? He's 35. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would have thought about it if he wasn't 35. We are not playing really that, that great. We did sweep the two game series against the Giants. And the Twins are offering me... They're, they're trying to get rid of this 35-year-old. I don't want him. We beat the Indians. What game are we going to play here? Let's play a home game against maybe the Tigers or the Angels could be interesting because they got Trout and Shohei. So I think we should do that. So let's let's do that. Yeah. But should we play on the road or on at home? I don't know. Oh, we are losing a lot of games. Grayson Rodriguez injured for about one to two weeks. And the Giants are offering me a trade. 31-year-old pitcher. I don't want him out of the bullpen. He might help us, but I don't want him. I'm not trying to get older. We are now 15-24. and 24, Worst team in the division. We are not looking very good right now. We are certainly going to have to sell at the deadline. That's, what, that's the plan. We're selling at the deadline. I've already made up my mind. All right. So the Angels are 17-22 and 22 as well. So... Uh, do we play against them at home or on the road? Let's play at home. Let's play at home. So we'll simulate to here. We lost the series anyway. The Rays are offering me a 29-year-old for... For Steven Voigt. I don't hate that. How's he been doing this year? Jeffrey Springs, he's pitched 11 games, 4-1, 11 innings pitched, 9 hits, 2 runs, 1-6-4 year. He's not playing that bad. You know what? I don't hate this deal. Let's do it. Steven, that gets Steven Voigt off our team because I didn't want him anyway. And that adds a new, we, got, we should probably put Hunter Green in there. That adds a new pitcher to our bullpen, Jeffrey Springs. Hopefully he does pretty well for us. We will auto rotate that. All right, so we're not gonna play the game where Shohei's pitching. We're gonna play the game where Shohei is hitting, and we'll we'll simulate to the final game. So we beat Shohei actually. All right, we'll play this game. Hunter Green versus Patrick Sandoval. So in this episode, we got to see Grayson Rodriguez. Now in the next episode, we'll get to see Hunter Green. That's cool. But we're 18 and 29. Last in the division. Close behind the, the Mariners, but still last in the division. Andrews is not really doing that well. Torkelson's hitting good. He's still hot. Jed Lowry, Sean Murphy, McKinney. Ramon Laureano's doing okay. Off the bench, not really anybody doing crazy good. And we saw kind of what the lineup is looking like. Everybody's just sucking. I feel bad for McKenzie and, and Caprillion. We're definitely selling at the deadline. We are definitely selling at the deadline. We got some old guys like Manaya and Montes. And if I could, can I sort by, I can't sort by age. But we're, we're definitely selling some pitchers at the deadline. And, and some hitters. I'll sell you. I'll definitely Sheldon's probably out the door. Andrus is probably out the door. Pinder's probably out the door. McKinney might even be out the door. Piscotti's certainly out the door. I might as well get the. Let's get the the trade block. 
already set up. So Manaya, Seth Brown, Montes, um, Andrus, Pinder, Noyce, McKinney's out the door, most likely, even though I like hitting with him right now. Piscotti's out the door. Jed Lowry's probably even out the door. We're selling the team because we just don't have what it takes right now to compete. So why are we keeping why are we keeping guys with big contracts? That's not what I want to do. I want to go to the budget. That, that's what I want to do. Why are we keeping guys with big contracts? I mean, they don't have big contracts, but a lot of guys are on one-year deals. Like Elvis Andrews is making fifteen million for one season. Why do we? Why we don't need that? So. We got a lot of guys that are on one-year deals that are going to be free agents after the season. So we're going to ship them off for playoff or for the teams that are probably going to be playoff contenders for for uh, playoff rentals. And then we're going to get back hopefully some decent prospects and try to build this thing from the ground up because it's going to be pretty tough. It is going to be pretty tough to build this up. It looks like we're doing pretty good scouting wise. All of the blue chip guys have been fully scouted. Now we just need to scout some of the other players that are down here. And uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have scouting on auto. Oh, no, I have it on manual. Okay, turn it on auto. Don't let me do it. I'm going to keep it on auto for now. I probably should have had that. That's probably my fault. I didn't realize it was on manual. But that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, it didn't turn out the way that I was hoping it would with the loss, but... It was pretty crazy how it ended. I'm not even kind. Of, I'm not even really that upset that we lost that game because of how how amazing Vladdy Jr. was to end that game. But we do lose. It is going to end the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.